Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James and we're back again with the next in our series of videos that we call Quick Tips. This week we're focused on underwater writing devices, slates and other products and such that if you need to take down notes or data underwater, these are the tools to help you do that job. Quick Tips videos, if you're unfamiliar, is where I take a topic within scuba diving and try and cram as much of my knowledge into that video as I can in five minutes or less and usually don't succeed. So without further delay, you guys make sure your next dive on our subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Click that little bell icon and I'll head over to my workbench and break it down for you. Hand signals that you've already learned and will continue to learn as your diving progresses should be enough for most normal communication underwater for most divers on the vast majority of dives. Couple that with a thorough dive briefing that should eliminate the need for lengthy discussions underwater and you're probably going to be okay when it comes to communication. Plus, if you're anything like me, you dive to avoid having to communicate too much with other humans. But there may be occasions where you want to either take information from the surface to depth in note form or be able to record information underwater in an analog format and bring it back from the dive with you. Some examples would be, for example, if you're a photographer and you've got a specific shot list or if you're doing a wreck dive for the first time and you want to take notes about that wreck or perhaps you're doing a decompression dive and you need to bring plans and alternate plans and alternate plans for your alternate plans, or perhaps you're a marine scientist and you're looking for a way to record analog data underwater. All of these things are possibilities. So what I'm gonna do in this quick tips video is give you the pros and cons of four different kinds of underwater writing device. Starting with the good old fashioned diver slate. Just a slab of plastic with a hole that you can strap it to yourself or clip it to yourself and a way to clip off a pencil on a little bit of a bungee. Really simple, really low technology. A couple of things, you get a pretty decent amount of surface area, especially if you use both sides. This one, I can't even remember how long I've had this, absolutely for ages. I think I did my dive master mapping exercise on this very slate. Um, but you've got a good amount of data surface. It is large and bulky, so you've got to think about how you're going to carry this. If you're taking this underwater with you, you need a pocket either in your BCD or a thigh pocket in a pair of shorts. Now, slates can be a bit of a pain in the butt to clean unless you've seen my seven scuba hacks in three minutes video, which I will link above there for you, where I have a top tip for cleaning slates and keeping them nice and shiny like this one. Good diver etiquette suggests that once you're done with the data on the slate, you always leave it clean so it's ready to use on the next dive. Next up, we have wrist slates. I got a brand new set here, I'm taking out the bag. Wrist slates, man. Oh boy. When I was learning to tech dive, these were the thing. Um, I could only afford one technical diving computer on my dive instructor salary at the time. So I was actually using this bad boy as my backup. It's an old Citizen Pro Master. It does depth and time. And then I would have my backup plans written on wrist slates such as this, which I would carry with me underwater. And I'd have my decompression plan and some contingency decompression plans written on the subsequent sheet. And then the top one was always left blank for taking notes, communicating, etc. Um, you have two different mounting options. They normally come with a nylon uh, Velcro strap or the good old fashioned bungees. Um, I generally prefer the bungees because you can get it tighter. And basically it's just three curved slates held together by this one piece of bungee. Now, what you'll find over time is with wear and tear, that bungee gets loose, and then these sheets, these individual slates, start sort of flapping around on the dive and getting tangled in bloody everything. Um, so you wanna make sure that you continuously pull on these and get them tighter and tighter and tighter so that your, sh your slates stay in place. And then you just have a graphite pencil with a little bit of rubber around it secured into that clip there. Nice thing about these is you don't need pockets. You can put them straight on your forearm like that of your non-writing hand, obviously, um, and the, the data is displayed for you. The bad thing is, well, the downside, the cons to this really are that you don't have a great amount of recording area. So if you were taking notes on a scientific dive or you had a long list of shots for a photo project that you wanted to take, probably not the best option. 
Also, these things are pretty cheap. I think they're like five bucks. So next up, we have my preferred option, wet notes. These ones happen to be by Dive Right. Other brands are available. This video is not sponsored. Uh, but basically what you've got is a waterproof notebook uh, with sheets that are both reusable and refillable. You can see I've torn out a couple of sheets here, but I've used these papers many times before and they just wash off with soap and water. Still have the graphite pencil. Uh, and the nice thing about the wet notes is because you've got a whole notebook, you have tons and tons of writing surface. So if you do have a shot list, that's why I use this more for more often, um, or your decompression plans, or you're down there recording data, then definitely wet notes is the way to go. Now you can just use the actual booklet itself. It comes out of the case, pencil is attached. You can just put that in your pocket, sure. But I do like having this ballistic nylon cover to protect the book so that it doesn't get loose pages rattling around underwater and so on so that just fits in there nicely there we go you got a little pencil holder there you got your spare pencils all that good stuff and you've got bolt loops you've got a way to clip it off to yourself you can put it in a pocket and you have a nice clear side where you can put some decompression tables some waterproof tables so really good option i dive with these frequently it's also good that i take notes on my students so that when i get back to the boat i can do a debriefing from what i saw in the water i use them for those all the time lastly i have a new product to market and this is apparently according to the package the world's first electronic writing board for diving again not sponsored not a review video i haven't even got this thing wet yet um i didn't even solicit it i never even heard of it before when somebody sent one to me at the channel here so basically what happens here is you put a little flat battery a little watch style battery in the back of it and you have a writing slate and a stylus and you can write on it i don't know if you can see that let me see and then to clear it you just touch that button there with the tip of the stylus but if you tip, touch the button regularly it doesn't work my initial thoughts on this thing are well the writing area isn't huge so it's kind of like a take a note show your buddy erase kind of tool not a tool for recording a vast sum of data the stylus is kind of awkward to get out i mean that's awkward barehanded if you had thick gloves on or you're cold water diving that wouldn't be too convenient but i like the idea i'm sure in future iterations the screen will take up more of the space of the actual device and i'm looking forward to taking it underwater and we'll see So I also want to say that this video was not sponsored by Dusol. They just happened to send me one in the post out of the blue, unsolicited, and I figured I'd throw it in here as it seems to be a new technology that is coming in. This is not a review video. I haven't even got that thing wet yet, so I don't really know how it performs. But I just thought I'd throw it in with this video that I had planned to make anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got value out of it. If you need to take down data or record notes underwater, I hope that this has given you some food for thought. And if it has, give the video the old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon if you haven't done so already. And just over here, I'll put some of our other videos, including the whole quick tips playlist for you to enjoy at your leisure. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. My name's James. This was your Divers Ready quick tips video for this week.